this Catholic Church is located in Second Life. In the front of the church, there's a placard that tells you about the different members of the church and tells you who's actually online at that point. If you move into the church, you'll see that they've done a beautiful job of recreating, it must be their cathedral or their church, right within the Second Life environment. In the back of the church, they have this restful setting along with what must be tombstones, maybe going back to when the church was first created. Definitely this appears to be a very Catholic environment and it looks as though this church, probably from Europe, has taken the time to invest in bringing people in from web-based and virtual and places. I continued my own virtual tour to find the Stations of the Cross and uh, another beautiful setting. And there's a little animal. I'm wondering if they might be what you call trackers, keeping track of who visits the location. Uh, it seems like they also have a wood setting, which I'm not sure whether that's part of the church group or maybe they're sharing this setting with other locations. Um, developing islands in Second Life is more expensive, so I think they may have uh, coupled up with some other churches or other groups. I came in another side entry, and uh, there's the Divine Mercy, and some very beautiful work that's been done by this church. I see the the holy water font, I see the um, Stations of the Cross there, and I see them outside as well. I'll close by showing you how I'm enjoying sitting in this space and sharing some information that I found in Second Life about this particular church, although I haven't really been able to find out where this church is geographically located.